I J G B Taurus Gilly Hustle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I finally did it. I took the plunge and I recently moved to Lagos. Nigeria, call over. Why would you do something like that? Why? It's a hustle in the job market. I'm actually looking for my dream job. Excuse me, madam. Are you a Nigerian? Me? Well, I was born and raised in the UK, but don't let the political accent fool you all. I'm proudly Niger. Oh. Hello there. Hi. Welcome to my relocation story. I'm Tora, or as my friends like to tease, IJGB. I just got back! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On this episode of Tora's Giddy Hustle. This time, the hustle took me way out of Lagos and back to my home city, London. I got to see family, catch up with friends, which is another episode for another day. But most importantly, I got to hustle, which led me to the One Africa Music Fest concert, which took place at Wembley Arena, where I got to have a one-on-one -on -one exclusive with one of the biggest DJs in Nigeria. Here's what happened. DJ exclusive, DJ exclusive in the building! <laughs> Why do you look like you're ready to rub a bag? <laughs> Tell us a bit about um, your styling real quick. All right, Miss Modish, uh, my one and only stylist. She's the only one that styles me, nobody else. Um, and she, we put this together. She wanted me to wear a mask because she wanted me to be very exclusive. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we thought, let's get this, my name bolded, written in case some people don't know who I am. Uh, nice. I always go everywhere assuming people don't know me. It's always better that way. So we thought, let's get this out there popping. And then we just wanted to get this matching with this as well. Now the socks is just swag, nothing serious. It's just swagaloo. Swag. So you can just pull this up. Okay. On, you know, on one leg up. And it's just swag. And my favorite color is white. So you got the white shoes going on. I'm going to have a chat with Exclusive. And we're just going to talk about, you know, 2018. Are you listening? I'm yeah. telling you what we're talking about. <laughs> we'll talk about 2018. The whole DJ experience and just kind of like talk a bit about the journey. Where did it all start for you? Oh, where did it start? It started, it didn't start in London. Where did um, it start? It started in University of Reading. Yeah, that's where it started while I was in my A levels. That was the best way I could make money by DJing so I could make some extra money. So you started off in Reading. I'm yeah. intrigued to know what were you. What sort of songs and were you mixing and playing when you were in Reading doing your A levels? Uh, this is why I, I wanted you to sit down. I can't, man. <laughs> this is the spirit part. A little bit of Nigerian music, a little bit. It wasn't a lot. Well, it was more hip hop, bashment. A lot of bashment. Um, what did you want to be when you I were. Wanted, I wanted to be an engineer mm -hmm. and a banker. I was an engineer and I was a banker, to be honest, because I did work in a bank. Um, but uh, the DJ picked up because. I realized a lot of people were paying me a lot of money to come on DJ. So I was like, wow, you guys are taking me serious. <laughs> so when did you move to Nigeria? 2011. Okay, yeah, you've been so there for... I've been, I moved to the UK in 2000. So for 11 years I was in the UK. That was to study and stuff yeah, like study. that. Yeah. And then I moved back to Nigeria 2011. Did you envision it coming this far? Did I know it would be this big? I did at a point when Yaoze came out. Yaoze and Gongaso. Okay, Yaoze by, um, what's Olumente. his name? Yeah. When Olumentain came mm. and he sang Yaoze, if you remember, there was a popular senator or an American guy in the government mm. that was doing the dance as well. Uh, when that happened, then I realized that this is a movement. This, this might could, could actually be big. And then Gongaso came by Nice. Uh, and I remember again, a popular, I think someone in America or London, I can't remember, uh, was vibing to Gongaso. So I kind of guessed that, yo, this is going to be deep. Yeah. But I didn't know it to be this big. No. Exactly. And the funny thing is, I don't think we've even reached our full potential. We're not, we're going to get there, but we're not yet there. It's interesting you should say that because fast forward to 2018, yeah. you got people like yourself being yeah. endorsed by major companies, yeah. by like Pepsi and stuff like that. What do you, can you just touch on that a bit? What do you think about that? It was something that's supposed to happen ages ago. Why? Because we have been pushing a lot of movement, um, not just me, but other DJs. Um, so, but it was great. I'm happy it happened. And I hope more will happen. But it's about time because I think, you know, DJs, a lot of people think DJ is just about play, pause. Mm -hmm. And now nah, it's, it's an art. There's a lot to it. 
Um, look at how I'm dressed when in mask. <laughs> it's a lot to it. It's a lot. It's work. But beyond the styling and fashion, what do you think of the DJs now? Because you're from an era, if you're talking like 2002, you're yeah. talking from an era where mixing was actually valid. Like you had to be able to a, mix I'm talking from the an song. era where DJs use round tables. A exactly. You know? no exactly. No. Serato, so what Serato. do you think about yeah. it now? What I think it's a cheap move, man. You know, um, I think a lot of DJs, they don't know what we've suffered, what we've been through. It definitely made the game easier. Um, but I still believe that it's better to have come from that era. Do you think anyone can be a DJ? The reason why I'm asking is because I can't remember what song it was, but you did like this competition and you got them to mix your yeah. song um, in like one minute. Yeah. So I thought from that, is it that are you encouraging people to come and DJ or do you feel that anyone can come and DJ? Can anyone be a DJ? I think anyone can be anything in this life if you put your mind to it. I didn't wake up and say I was going to be a DJ, but it was something I enjoyed. People, the people who know me, personally know that I love partying, I love having a great time um, and DJing is, is an excuse for me to do that, to party, have a great time uh, but most importantly I enjoy making the crowd go wow, you know, so anyone can be a DJ, if they're serious about it, why not, but it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of work man, I'm not gonna lie, it looks easy, a lot of work, a lot of prayer, a lot of uh, thoughts, a lot of practice, you know, practice yeah. a lot of focus, um, thinking about what you, it's yo, it's hard. Okay, so let's get a bit controversial. Top three DJs in Nigeria. I'm gonna be honest. Be with you, real. I'll, I'll say what it is. I'll say yeah. What it is. I don't have a top three DJ. Okay. I can just tell you a DJ that's trending right now because I don't believe any DJ is better than any DJ. Okay. What it is is seasons. Everyone has their seasons. Yeah. I think right now, who's trending? DJ mm. Coffee. Okay. She's the one that's trending. I think she's the hottest. I think this is our time. This is a season. Why do I say that? Because she's everywhere, man. Yeah. It's not just about the talent. It's also about the branding. It's who she is, the packaging. It's unique. Do you think the fact and that she's, she's female. a female, that's what I was going to say, the fact that she's a female, it, it helps. helps. because, big shout out to all the other female DJs, but mm. the way she's positioned herself in the industry, yo, she has a Pepsi endorsement deal. Say something. Which I was going to ask you about. <laughs> Why do you think Pepsi chose exclusive OB and copy? Honestly, I can't give you a proper answer, but I think we all, they, they look at us and believe we all have something unique. I don't know what that is, because Tora, I'm gonna be honest, yeah. why did they pick me? I don't even know. Look at me, I'm wearing a mask. Why are you gonna pick a DJ in a mask? Who's about to rob a bank? <laughs> so I don't know. I don't even know why they picked me. I don't know why I'm there, man. <laughs> okay, you exclusive, know? before we leave, let's round it up. We're doing this for Africa, it's not really about me. It's just a movement. When I'm dead, they'll remember me. And of course, um, when we've all left this world, when the next generation comes, we pray that African music will be beginning where it is. Because I'm sure when Fela was where he was, he didn't think we'll be here right now. So And he was probably praying for us to get well. here. Yeah. So we keep it moving. It's just a culture, Amen. it's a movement. And that's what we're here to do. Just turn up and have a great time. I drink Pepsi. Say, I'm in Jesu! <laughs> 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 Alright, goddamn. Man, so drink Pepsi, you drink know. IJGB Taurus Giddy Hustle. Oh, yeah. <laughs>